As well as text, you can upload lots of different types of assets to your grids, including images, videos and audio files. I'll show you how. So first I'll click Create Column here, and then create a column called Files. You could of course have specific columns for different asset types. I'll stick with the generic one here. Then I'll select Data Type here, choose Files, and then click on Save. You can individually add assets if you wish by clicking on the plus button here or anywhere in the cell. I shall add this one here. You can also drag and drop files into a grid cell to upload that way too. I shall grab this one here and then place in the cell. Storing many file formats in one grid can be useful in, for example, LQA testing. It allows game testers to compare the localized text with game screenshots or gameplay recordings without the need to switch between the grid and the folder with the images. I'll add a few more and you can also mix the data types in here if desired. So I'll click again here, add a web file, and once again on a movie. Note that you don't need to download the files and can preview them directly in Gridly. So here's the preview of the image, here's the web file, And here's the video. You can also batch upload files. Do this by clicking on the header and select Upload Folder. Then browse to select the folder. And I shall select this one here and click on Upload. The file name of the asset needs to be matched to an existing column. In this case, it's Record ID. If you have non unique record IDs, you may need to combine the file name with the path tag. That way the asset is associated with the correct entry. And here we have a preview at the bottom. I shall click on Upload. And there we have it. And that's how you upload assets to Gridly.